Hey ladies, this is Renee here and this, in this video I'm going to be doing the curly girl tag. I did get a few people, I mean, I did get a majority of people who wanted to see the curly girl tag more than the husband tag, so I will be doing the curly girl tag. At this time, I'm, I haven't gotten a lot of people who wanted to see the husband tag, so it probably won't get done. And my husband is very excited about that. <laughs> so first question. Um, well, about four years ago, I started to really evaluate my hair and its breakage. I've been straightening my hair for a long, long time, and I started seeing little, um, short strands at the very where my part was and I'm like this is really burning my hair I have to take a break from it so that's really what got me to the point of um, really embracing my curly hair um, it's just I wanted to take better care of it and it was splitting up a lot because of all the heat damage that I was doing while I was putting on it and um, I mean, basically, that's kind of, it's like even in my journey, my hair journey is kind of in there of what, um, why I decided to go curly. I'm not going to call her my idol um, or anything like that, but my favorite hair, curly hair female is Galila Bikili. Um, she's a model. And um, as a photographer, I do look at a lot of other photographers' um, work. And she's a Ford model. And I, when I seen her, I thought her hair was effortless. It was. It looked soft. It had movement. Um, she has a, a lot looser curls than mine, but um, I thought her hair was just really gorgeous. And so she's my top favorite curly hair. Um, It's really hard to say because, really, to be honest, I wouldn't trade with anybody because I've gotten to the point now that I've learned how to work with my hair and maintain my hair and, you know, and it took a long time to get to this point and to be, I, what I've learned from hair is you really don't ever really want somebody else's hair because you have to learn how to manage that person's hair and it's a lot I mean everybody has some kind of flaw in their own hair and I've learned mine and I learned how to deal with it unless their hair was already done <laughs> already styled and everything like that um, maybe but as of right now there's no particular person that I say I, you know I really want her hair I I'm happy and satisfied with what I got, so. One product. Um, probably my Eco Styler. Um, I would, I want to say a moisturizer, but I'm going to go with the styling gel. Unless I never wear my hair down, I would go with a moisturizer, but yeah, I'm going to go Eco Styler um, because it just controls frizz, and that's the biggest thing with me is frizz. It, yeah, <laughs> my Eco Styler. That's really a hard question. It's, yeah, Eco Styler, yeah, yeah. Next question. Um, I would probably make my hair consistently curly all the way around. Um, explain. This side, as you can see, has these spiral curls. These kind of spiral up. 
And this side is more looser and just makes the S pattern, but it doesn't like spiral up. So this side is always longer than this side. And so it kind of messes up. That's the reason why I normally do it with my hair um, it's split down the middle because it's uneven. Even though it's cut even, it doesn't look like it's cut even because of my curly, the pattern of my hair is not consistent. So I, that's one of the things I probably would change is make sure making my hair, if it's going to be really loose, let it be really loose. If it's going to be spiral curly, let it be spiral curly, curly but that's one of the things I would change. Next question. I can't say that I tried anything crazy. No, I, I don't. I haven't tried anything crazy. Sorry. My hair loves water. It loves holding on to water. For some reason, it just. It soaks it up and absorbs it, and it takes forever to let it go. And water is the thing that it loves the most. I only use one product consistently, and that would be the Eco Styler. And the other thing is some kind of oil-based product, and of course, Eco Styler has. Um, oil in it so I haven't found the um, cream moisturizer that I just completely love yet um, I don't have that answer I feel like that's my answer for most stuff the perfect product I feel like is right now is Eco Styler I mean because it's the only product I really use a lot outside of my conditioner wash, um, shampoo and conditioner Um, if my hair is freshly done, it's down. Like this. If it's freshly done, but if it's, um, this is three day old hair. But if it's, um, pretty old, like maybe four or five days, it's normally a ponytail. Whether it be a high ponytail or low ponytail, it's normally a ponytail. Um, Why? Oh, <laughs> really? Um, nothing is coming to me right now. Um, I don't know. I've never thought about naming my hair. Um, I am literally like, I have no idea. I'm completely blank right now. Maybe it's my pregnancy brain. Because I have no clue. Puff. Puff. Puffy. I, I, I got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Sorry, ladies. I was prepared. So I hope this was um, interesting for you guys in terms of the ones who requested me to do this video. Um, now, I told you already that this is third day hair. And I've actually been trying to do the um, split down the middle style. Still working out, working it out. I was telling you before, I all, I'm all about the hair shape. It's just this side is not shaping like I want it to because of the inconsistency of my um, pattern, but I did cut it a little bit in the front. I kind of like it. It's, like I said, it's still a work in progress. Um, but, um, 
I'm trying to make it to my liking. I'm trying something new. So until next video, ladies. Have a good one.